Well, it's that time, that time, that time. This is a time that I never thought would come, but it's here and I'm, I'm just, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't, I don't know. It's, um, it's something you have to address when you live on the road. And, well, I mean, we've only been here for a little while, but it's time we got, we got to clean up this place. It's that time. And I don't mean like, let's just like fold our clothes and shove them in a drawer. This is like, it's time for a power clean. And I don't know why I would do a power clean here, boondocking at the beach when we're gonna just invite more dirt and stuff in, but it's crazy. We've we got, we got so much stuff everywhere. I'm only gonna give you a sneak peek because I know Lindsay will get mad at me if I show you how the whole camper looks right now, but it's um it's pretty bad. It's just because we're living in it. It's it's our it's our house and our our kids are coming in and they're bringing sand in and they're um I mean your kids probably don't chew on themselves while they sit on the couch but our kids chew on themselves on the couch and all the sand goes everywhere and it's just um it's one of those things it's time to clean and so on that note hi <laughs> what's your favorite part of the mess in this place is it the, <laughs> is it the dishes. I mean, yeah, it's messy. It's yeah, one more. the sand. It's oh, all the sand. The sand? And here we've been having an ant problem too. So, which we've never had a problem like that before. But so, somewhere they're getting in, we don't know where. So I have diatomaceous earth all over the table. That is diatomaceous earth. It, it's non-toxic and it kills ants, just so you know. So... And it has. We, some, we yeah, did chase them it's off. It's been killing them, but... Uh, we just have to live with the white yeah. powder everywhere. So, mm -hmm. so we've got, like, our desk space is... Um, yeah. No, we got to give that to Huck. Huck's Huck. taking antibiotics. Yeah, he cut his paw pretty good the other day, so... And, um, yeah, random stuff. This is his last day. Some of Lindsay's... Supplements. Supplements. A mouse with no computer. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. We are messy. So I like having clothes that are a little bit easier to reach. And so I keep like two changes of clothes, like my morning clothes and my evening clothes, if that makes any sense. My morning clothes um, are like my, my pajamas. And my I'm wearing a shirt now. It's been cool in the mornings. Um, and then my like, I got this lightweight um shirt that's like your standard columbia uv protectant out in the sun all day so if i go paddleboard or hiking i usually take that with me and then in the evening i got my nice linen pants i love these and uh so this is like my little secondary closet which is up here our standing desk is not really it's not really a standing desk right now it's holding our tv it is holding our tv which is great because up here in the tv box we've learned it's a little bit challenging to see and we just pull out the, the standing desk a little bit and set it there. But man, this is crazy. So the first aid stuff, I think we'll be able to put that away because Huck is doing much better. Got all that over here. Lindsay's camera. Um, oh, look, we got multi multiple masks hanging on the wall, multiple hats. Yeah, that's what that thing's for, yep, right? Here's our N95 and yep, yeah, perfect. Some headlamps, whoop, there goes one. Hats, this is my hiking and my water hat. It's an old man hat, but it keeps the cancer off my head. Um, yeah, and so yeah, it's it's. I mean, the RV. This is not always gonna look perfect, you know. It's small space. It gets messy, but the great thing about it is it doesn't take long to clean it up. But we're probably gonna have a fun time today. We can turn on all the fans, which we're gonna do. Turn on the lights. Get airflow moving through here. The flies outside are terrible right now, so everything's gonna be done inside the camper. We thought um, maybe we'll just move some stuff outside, give it a nice big deep clean. Um, but I don't, I don't know why we're talking about cleaning. Maybe because I don't actually want to clean. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to take things like the couch. I'm going to lift the couch up and get all the dust and all the dirt and everything off our, our uh, batteries and our solar charge controller inverter. Um, we're going to go in the closets. Going to take out all the drawers. So like in here is our pantry drawers and then We've got our kitchen drawers and underneath there, pots and pans. Um, and we're going to clean out underneath in the back of all of them. The thing about living in an RV, among many other things, is you get dust and sand and for us dog fur like in all kinds of places. And so we're just going to, we're going to basically demolish our camper in the attempt to clean it up and make it feel a little bit more comfortable. 
because right now I'm panicked. Like even looking at our, look at all the wires we have coming off our, so this comes off our inverter and lights us up. And then we got all the other ones that we, we plug some of those in sometimes and plug some of them in other times because they don't all fit at the same time. The inverter can handle it, the battery bank can handle it. Um, but one of our goals is to get to the point where we can help Scott and Melissa do some things to their RV so that we can borrow Scott to come over and help us install our uh, automatic transfer switch. What that will do with that automatic transfer switch, it'll get rid of this. And it'll mean we can plug in to normal plugs right here. So whether we're boondocking or whether we are uh, actually plugged in to shore power, we're going to be able to run everything off our normal outlets, which will be great because right now, again, we play the switch around game where we plug in here, we plug in there and all this stuff. We can't use any of the outlets back in our bedroom. So like sometimes at night we would charge our phones. Haven't been doing that. Plug in the tablet. Haven't been doing that. Um, and right now, even in the bathroom, being able to plug stuff in, I know it doesn't look like it, but I, I, uh, I do a lot to keep this, you know, no hair up here and nice and pretty hair right here. Um, so like I would usually just plug in trimmers in the um, bathroom outlet and can't do that right now either. So we're gonna get that transfer switch put in and that's gonna open up the power options for us as well. But the first step for us is to get everything clean so we can take a deep breath and then we can go help Scott and Melissa do some stuff around their camper. And then hopefully I can get Scott over here because Scott is a whiz. Uh, if you've seen any of the later, earlier videos, he does solar install, uh, Soul Seeker Solar. This is a commercial for them. We don't get paid for it. They're really good friends. But if you need solar installation, they travel around the country. Um, they're putting together an agenda right now of where they're going to go, an itinerary. So if you are interested in solar or the idea of the transfer switch, Scott won't just do a transfer switch. He does like the whole package. But because we got the whole package done already, he's just going to help us out, hopefully. Looking forward to getting that done. Oh, and the converter is still broken. And the refrigerator, the mini fridge, it's cranking right now. And even with it cranking, you can see we're still adding almost 10 amps going in at 14.3 volts. We're almost all the way topped off in our battery. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. We're gonna get some work done. I don't think you need to watch. Do you think you need to watch? Lindsay, do you think they need to watch? You need to watch, apparently. So, we'll get that going for you. What does that look for? How long did that take us? Well, how longer than we thought? Well, we kind of got sidetracked. Why? Because you were TikToking? 
all that and you fix the trash can door oh, uh, and yeah. other things. <laughs> you TikToking. Yeah. You might have seen Lindsay TikToking. It's done. The cleaning's done. This is the cleanest the camper's been in probably since we left. Since we left the States? No. Since we left Jacksonville, Florida and mm, started driving six that. months ago. <laughs> yeah, this is this is about as clean as it gets. Yeah, so we it's did pretty clean. It looks pretty nice. Feels we did, good. Yeah, it feels great. We cleaned up, we deep cleaned pretty much everything that we were hoping to. So not really exciting except now you can take a look and see how much better it looks. <clears throat> standing office is back to being a standing office. Our cord cluster cleaned up pretty good. We're charging the vacuum as we shared. Huckleberry's got a nice clean bed spot down there. The refrigerator. Oh, Lindsay's got a lint roller. Refrigerator, nice and clean. We didn't show you how dirty it was. We've only had it for a month and we trashed it. Yeah. The yeah, desk is back to being a desk. Kitchen looks great. Even the bathroom. Chuckleberry. So that is our day in the life of cleaning up and prepping and all that fun stuff. What do you think? I'm glad I feel better. I feel accomplished. So I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we only do this once every six months or so. <laughs> yeah. You should clean your camper a little often, more often we than we do. We clean it often. This is just a deep clean. Like, we deep cleaned, you know? So we clean stuff we don't normally clean on a daily or weekly basis. Got a so. nice bleachy clean floor. Yeah. We don't normally mop the floor. Like, we sweep and vacuum all the time with two dogs and a camper. <laughs> two healers and a camper. And their hair is everywhere. <laughs> so. Mine. Yeah. Not so much. And my hair is everywhere. Yep. <laughs> it is. You want a little TMI? If you don't want TMI, go ahead and skip a couple seconds. TMI, I've been watching Huckleberry's poop for the last four days because he ate his, his little wrap that he had I on his paw. I think he ate it. We can't I, find I it. I think anymore. he ate it. I can't find it. And that's part of the deep cleaning was hoping that we'd find it. We didn't find it. Didn't find it. So assuming he ate it, I've been watching him poop. Like I usually do because I usually come behind and pick it up with a bag and all that stuff. But I've been waiting for him to poop out this big stringy uh, ace, bandage. ace bandage wrap and, you know, some gauze. It hasn't happened yet, but what has happened is he's had dingleberries literally up the wazoo because of Lindsay's hair. <laughs> Huckleberry, and my dad will attest, Dad, I know you're watching this at some point. Uh, Huckleberry will lick every square inch of the kitchen at home and then every square inch of the floor. And that's what we've got here is kitchen floor, everything, like living everything's together. He licks every square inch, which includes Lindsay here. So when that passes through his digestive system, sometimes he gets a little hanger on her and it's, it's, he doesn't like it. He's like terrified. I don't have any B-roll of it, but I'll, <laughs> I'll start following him around with the camera. Oh so maybe, gosh. maybe you'll get to see that. Huckleberry. Again, TMI. Mr. Dingleberry. Mr. Dingleberry. Dingleberry. Yeah. Huckleberry's got a lot of nicknames, but <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for right now gonna go do the dog thing and the cedar shaving thing and get back to work because that's what we got but I feel much better about how clean this is oh I forgot the most important part did we clean the bedroom no but guess what's in the bedroom what's in the bedroom I have no idea what's in the bedroom a door a closed door a door I don't see it. you just close it and it goes away <laughs> wait, wait wait there's the mess there's no mess. not the mess <laughs> there's the mess there's not the mess. <laughs> Little trick, put a couple doors in your RV, you can forget about how messy it is sometimes. Anyway, thanks for being a part of this. I know it's kind of mundane and boring, but that's a big part of our life is getting this stuff all cleaned up. Thanks for being a part of our journey through thick and thin, through the fun stuff and the not so fun stuff. And uh, we'll see you when we see you, which may be California or Wyoming. We'll see you when we see you.